Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel, Tarot by Bronx. This is Tarot Talk. These are Tarot Tings, and I'm your host, Boogie. Boogie, Boogie down Bronx, and I'm here to take care of the cancers. Cancer, if you're new to the channel, welcome. This reading can resonate for you if you have cancer as a sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, or south node sign. Quick shout out to my Patreon and my YouTube members only, where you are seeing this early access or exclusive. Because sometimes I don't know whether I'm going to release an early access or I'm going to keep it exclusive. I just don't know until I feel the energy after the reading. But yeah, you're seeing this. You're seeing it before I release it or you're only seeing it exclusively. So thank you guys for tuning in and being subscribed. So let's get into your reading, Cancers. I started doing a pre-shuffle for you, but I never really finished. Um, I was I got distracted and started doing something else. So let's do your, your cards here. I've been really into my tuning forks, which I've been playing with this morning and yesterday. So that was really fun there in this briefcase. If I feel the need to give you guys some healing energy with the sound, I will. All right, let's see what we got for cancer. Cancer for the rest of November. What does cancer need to surrender the rest of November? Surrender the drama. Surrender the drama came out first. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. And then you have surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. Both of these cards have the same colors in them too. I know it's pink in my background, so you can't really see, but um, they are both yellow and orange. So you might have some sacral or solar plexus stuff coming up but um let's see where you need to surrender the drama let's see where does cancer placements need to surrender the drama or in regards to what what drama is this about where does cancer sun moon rising venus north and south Ooh, you got a teacher some of you, this is about a teacher, somebody that you are learning from, potentially. Like in school, there could be some drama with your studies or your school, something like that, or somebody that's supposed to be teaching you something. Um, could even be a manager. Let's see. What What does cancer need to... You got a new job or increase. What does cancer need to surrender the drama in regards to... They will reach out. A water sign, cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Relocation. Student, teacher, student, teacher, student. Hmm. What does Cancer need to surrender the drama in regards to, please? Okay, think before you act. All right, so this will be for a very specific group of Cancers with this teacher, student thing. So for some of you, it's about like something that's going on with you in regards to schooling um, or you learning from somebody. Like there's a, a there's some type of rift between you and a teacher or a mentor or somebody that's, or it could be you are the teacher and you're having some problems with your students in some way or a student and there's some drama there. Be careful about that. Um, I'm even getting for some of you that have kids, some of you have an issue with a teacher um, that is teaching your child um, or something that's going on. I don't know. There's something really crazy with that that I'm, I'm picking up on for you cancers right now. Um, for others of you, this it's, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. That is, there's some drama surrounding. They will reach out. So it's somebody that you will, you expect to reach out, or you know that you have to have a conversation with them about something. Um, for others of you, you have new job proposals. Some of you have gotten a new job, or you're getting a new job. There could be some drama surrounding that situation too. We'll have to look into that a bit more. Uh, letters and name A S H L or N. This is letters in your name or in the person's name that could be bringing up drama for you. But you have think before you act. All right, let's see. Anything else for cancers in regards to what's coming up for them the rest of November here? Job loss or decrease. Okay, so something is going on for some of you like with a job. Um, some of you with the drama I'm getting there's drama in work, possibly. Um, either this drama could lead you to losing your job, potentially. So just, you know, be mindful about that. Um, or there's like, you know, there's some type of loss first before you get an increase in things. You have fight for it. 
Okay, so with that being said, let's go into the tarot and see more about what's happening for Cancer. My Cancerians. Okay. We're going to use these. We're going to use these cards. All right, for Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South. Now, what is blocking Cancers right now in November? What is blocking Cancers right now in November? The Hangman Reverse. What is blocking Cancers at this time? That will be revealed, especially in regards to some drama. You got Five of Wands. There's some conflicts here. Seven of Swords. Can you tell us more about what this drama surrounds or what is what is this drama about? You got Three of Cups. What is this drama surrounding? I'm going to have to use my other deck for this too. Ten of Cups. Okay. Ugh, my cards keep getting stuck in the drawer. Okay, can you tell us more about this for Cancers for the rest of November, this drama? What is this in regards to, please? More about what this is in regards to for cancers. And then we'll figure out kind of what you got to do. Nine of Swords in reverse again. Nine of Swords in reverse came out twice. What was this? Hangman almost came out. Okay, so there could be a bit of like some waiting here that you have to do. Six of Swords, um, something about traveling. I think some of you guys are kind of conflicted on whether or not you should travel or maybe... You did move or you did leave a job and you're kind of contemplating whether or not one is right for you. I'm just getting something about there's confliction in a um, a career choice or a schooling choice where either you already made a move and then you're like, huh, I don't know if this was the right move. Or you're feeling like you're forced to move because of something that's going on in your current environment here. It could be with a Capricorn or you feel confined. Some For some reason, you feel chained to um, the circumstances or the situation. I'm kind of getting like, for some of you, it's like um, you're trying to weigh out the pros and cons of a situation. You're like, okay, well, here I have my friends or I have my partner or I have this or that, but there's this other thing that's going on that's really bothering me. So it's like, a lot of you are contemplating moving altogether. Either it's like, or you work somewhere, you're like, I like the people I work with, but I don't like my manager. You know, it's like something is is conflicting you here where you feel like you have to stay or you can't leave or you want to leave, but you're not sure. So that's where I'm, I'm getting, um, there's some hesitancy for you here, Cancers, in some way. All right, what else for Cancers in this regard? What else for Cancers in this regard? Ten of Wands. What else for Cancers? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. North and South Node. Yeah, the best thing is like, you know, try to stay calm. I just feel like there's somebody that is not making things easy for you here. And I'm still not 100% clear on who that is. But it's like this Queen of Swords. It could be a, an air placement, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy showing up too. Or another Cancer. You got this uh, Chariot card in reverse. That might be you though. Feeling a bit out of control. Tower card in reverse. Things bubbling up to the surface. But I kind of feel like there's, there's somebody that um, for you that is like, not that you have to kiss their butt, but you kind of have to like just try to, play it smart with this person because they could be um, somebody with some type of authority over you, some type of power over a decision that you're making or influencing, or they will influence the decision or how things go, the outcome. So you're kind of like, I'm um, kind of just stuck here or, you know, try to be calm about the situation and yes, still stick to your boundaries, hold your ground. But yeah, I just, I just get that there's somebody conflicting a an outcome for you or a new beginning for you and you're trying to figure out 
the best approach to um, overcoming this situation or with this person because it could be one where they are very explosive or they, you know, they're not very um, easy to work with is what I'm getting here. You know, they're, they're always ready to fly off a handle. So you're just like, okay, let me just try to play things really cool, really smart, really, you know, good. Okay, so let's get some advice for you. What's the advice for cancers and how they should approach? And again, this is not going to be for all cancers. This feels like a very specific message. If it does resonate for you, then it was for you. Because I haven't really had a message like this I don't remember last time, especially not for cancers. This feels like it's it's tailored. It's tailored to somebody and somebody's specific situation they have going on. Okay, so what is the advice? How should cancers approach this situation here? King of Swords or Knight of Swords, Seven of Swords. How should cancers approach this? Two of Cups in reverse, Five of Cups. How should cancers approach this? The Justice card. Let's see. Why is the Two of Cups in reverse here? Whoa. Why is Two of Cups in reverse here for Cancers? Sun card. And the Seven of Swords. Okay. For some of uh, others of you, I kind of feel like you are, you're like trying to avoid drama also. Like you're trying not to, be the cause of drama but like something that you have to do or something that you might have to say um ultimately it may still stir some emotions in somebody else it may still stir the pot but of course it's not about what you say more is how you say it so um a lot of you guys you have been trying to run away from whatever this is but i also feel like this is about being strategic seven of swords so you know Cancer, it's, it's not, I never like condone manipulation, but I do feel like for a certain particular situation you're dealing with right now, you do have to be more strategic. You do have to like be more calculated in how you're saying things because um, whatever this situation is, is like very sensitive. And so saying the wrong thing or, you know, doing it without thinking can really work against you or it's something about your safety or your livelihood is at stake or some really big thing here um but the five of cups as advice and the two of cups as in reverse as advice whatever decision you have to make or some conversation you have to have it could result in you losing somebody okay or it, it may not give you the outcome that you're hoping for and that's okay as long as you, Justice Card, are trying to be as fair as possible. You're trying to be as amicable as possible. You're standing your ground. You know, you're setting your, your boundaries. Again, I'm not sure exactly what this is for you guys. A lot of it I've seen, like, it could be, like, a teacher-student thing. It could be a manager. Like, it's something in, like, a there's, like, a difference in authority that you're you're dealing with here or something that somebody has some type of influence or some power over you or the outcome of your situation, which is making it difficult for you to figure out. So, um, lastly, I kind of want to pull some blunt truth cards for you. My nails make it so hard to uh, pick up these cards. What's the blunt truth cancer needs to hear about their scenario? What's the blunt truth cancer needs to hear about their scenario fact checked ancestors pleased you are the problem relocation yeah something about like some of you may have to leave or move or something because of whatever happens here what's happening here relocation yeah or there's there's something else you have there's something better you have communication coming in um relocation so yeah ultimately a lot of you cancers you're gonna try to do what you can do to get the best outcome for you or your your situation or whoever is involved in this but at the same time you know you can only do so much and you know i think a lot of you you're trying to be peaceful potentially 
Um, but it can be hard to avoid the drama, especially if you're dealing with people that kind of stir drama. So, yeah, you may lose somebody in this process um, of whatever is happening here. It may be a disappointing outcome. But you are encouraged to be a bit strategic and just try to play things fair and tread lightly with the situation. Because, yeah, you have the sun card. I'll clarify that last card. There's a sun card here for cancers as advice. Ten of cups. I like that. So, you know, try to envision a positive outcome and try to go into it with a positive attitude as much as you possibly can. That will lighten things up if you go into it real you know, hostile and kind of matching energy with people that might be bitter or nasty to you, that might, that could make things a little bit more challenging. So try to do your best to, you know, either remain calm or put on a good smile, a happy face and ensue that the best outcome possible will happen. Just try not to add any additional fuel to the fire for whatever this is. All right. So let me know if this resonated. Again, this is like a very specific message for some cancers. I don't think it's going to resonate for everybody. But when it if it does, then it was for you. Thank you guys for watching. I'm also hearing something about a smooth exit. A smooth exit. So some of you are trying to plan your exit in a relationship or a job or a situation because of some drama possibly. Or it could cause some drama because you want to get out of something. Um, but yeah, that's what I heard. So yeah, cancers, thank you. Um, hope this resonated. Let me know if it did. I am at Terra Bronx and Mind Body Bronx on everything.